Hi, this video is to show you how to sync your orders from Site Giant Lite into your SQL accounting. Firstly, you will have to come into My Apps and select on this button here. Once you select on this, you will have to select your company profile and click on Done. So from here, you are able to see all of the orders that you have in your Site Giant Lite. Click into the Pending tab and you are able to see all of the orders that have not yet been synced into your SQL accounting. So from this tab, you can select the store and from here you can also use the filter button to filter out the order status. For demo purposes, I'll select the order status page and I'll select the date between March the 1st until the end of March the 31st and click on apply. The system will then show you all of the orders that fulfill the criteria. So from here, you can either select all of the orders that you want to sync or you can select one by one. Okay, once you have selected the orders, you can click on the Add New button here on the top right. It will then give you a preview or a display of the orders. You can make amendments here. Once done, everything is good, you can click on the Sync button. And then it will tell you that the sync is saved. So at this point of time, the system will bring the order from Pending into Assign. Okay, your orders will be showing up here in the Assign tab. And then the system will also create a task and pass it over to this SQL Sync Lite application here. When you are at this page, you need to use the email and password that you use to log in to your site Giant Lite. Once you enter your credentials, click on Log In. So once you log into that page, you can see the task that has been created earlier. Select the task and click Sync. At this point of time, it will bring over the orders that you tried to sync earlier into your SQL accounting. Once everything is done, click on Done. You can go back into your site giant light. Okay, and if we refresh the page, we can see that the orders are now being assigned from this tab into the completed tab. So if we go into our SQL accounting, SQL accounting, sales and sales invoices, here you can see all of the orders that have been synced in earlier. So if we double click into one of them, you can see the orders that we just synced in. The customer code, the details, the products all here. And then for reference one, this will be the order ID from Site Giant Light. And as for this extension number, it will be the marketplace order ID. If your orders sync in from Lazada, this will show the Lazada order ID. And if it is an order from Shopee, then you can see the Shopee order ID showing right here. All right. So this is the step of how to sync the orders that you have inside Giant Light into your SQL accounting.